Hello, friends. Good afternoon, almost. It's 11.44, so good morning still. How are we doing today? All right, so happy Sunday. Um, so we're going to paint a spring gnome today. So if you guys are not part of my group and you want a free tracer, this is a tracer. Just type the word gnome below in the comments and I will send you guys the link on how you guys can get this gnome for free. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a few ways. So normally you would just buy um, graphite paper, which is very similar to this. And you can place this down. Normally you put this, see the shiny side? The darker side goes down because that's where all the graphite is. And you would put that down and you would put the tracer on top of that. If you do not have graphite paper, another simple way to do, to trace this onto your canvas is on the back of your paper, wherever you see all of your lines, you just take your pencil, or you can just do the whole entire day. And you take your pencil and you're just coloring over it. And then you can put it onto your canvas and you can do the tracing that way as well. Um, I'm gonna use the graphite paper for today. Um, I know my original one is has a black background. I figured I'd do a different background with you guys today. So I think that this one, um, the color I use for this is Sea Breeze. And then the streaky color I did was Antique Bronze. Okay, so that was my metallic color I actually used today. So I'm pretty excited to be doing this with you guys today. So as you guys are hopping on, say hi. All right, so putting my graphite paper down. I'm putting this on top of it and just kind of centering it. So the, the size canvas, like you might be asking yourself, what size canvas are you using? I am using a four by 12 canvas, okay? So what I did was wrap the paper around so that it stays steady. And all I can do now is take my pencil. I'm just gonna trace around all right um i'm just gonna trace around my lines here i'm not gonna trace the flowers yet i'll go back to those in a minute let me just trace him so happy sunday how is everybody doing i actually worked six days this week um so yesterday was kind of an exciting day at work um we have this new program that came into our building called Kix Academy. And Kix Academy is, is actually a part of Nike, the shoe company. Yes, it's very exciting. So we've been working with them for over a year. We had two students that were juniors at the time when they first started working with them. And they got picked up by a black female owned company called Perry and Co. And they design, they were designing shoes and they won a competition with this company called Perry and Co. And they had their shoes created last year, which was pretty exciting because um, these are two students that I have taught since freshman year. And they were juniors now, they were, in my AP art history class at the time. Now they're my senior portfolio class. So I have them for all four years. So it's pretty exciting to know that um, students that I had and that are like my children that I watch grow up kind of take off and learn how to do something so differently. So if you guys can take a quick closer look, you can kind of see he's there. Um, as far as this part, I'm just going to erase this part because I'm going to put this part mostly in the corner. I'm just going to draw that in. So it's exciting to learn um, and see their journey with this company. And we, we have been learning that they've been doing a lot more. So also before they came back to school, before after the pandemic, they'd done a campaign with Nike and they um, had taken photographs and 
done all these campaigns, photographs. So they're kind of building up their portfolios. It's quite exciting. Um, another thing we learned is they made new shoes or collaborated with other students to make shoes. And they have been created and that Nike wants to take them to Japan. So it's pretty exciting to learn all this information and excited that they're getting these opportunities through this company, Nike. Hi, Ma. Hi, Dad. Happy Sunday. All right. So now we got the, we got the tracing of the no, which was pretty easy to do. All right. So the first couple of colors I'm going to go in with is purple pizzazz. So when you get these colors, and these are all a deco art. You can purchase these colors at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, or you can purchase them from decoart.com it, itself. I got it. The next color is Dioxine Purple. So again, make sure you guys shake them up. I'm gonna put a little bit of that color on my palette. And the other color I'm also using is primary, primary blue at the moment. Okay. All right, so with a one inch brush, all right, I'm gonna go in with the P, um, purple um, Piaz, which is the lighter purple. And we're gonna kind of create like this ombre effect. All right, so I'm just gonna come along the side here and just kind of paint it in. Um, purples are very funny. They kind of come off with a light tone. So you might have to do two layers of this color. All right, I did not wet my brush if anybody's asking. I went in with a dry brush at first. All right, so I'm just painting. And then I'm gonna go in with a tinge darker purple and then kind of blend that in next to the lighter purple. And this can kind of help make that ombre effect that we want, meaning we're gradually going from one purple to the darkest, which is gonna be the blue. All right. And again, it might not look like anything fun right now, but we're just painting him in. And I did not wash my brush going from one color to the next. And then I'm picking up a little bit of blue because we want it to blend. I'm going in with the blue and just tracing out where the hat is. All right. So kind of blending that all together. All right. I'm going to wipe off my brush on my paper towel and then I'm just going to go in still with a br dry brush and just kind of blend that all together. And then I might want to go in with darker purple. And this is where your layering is going to come in because you're going to notice it's going to start to dry. Um, so Deco Art is an acrylic based paint, which means it's a water based paint. Um, you can water it down if you want to. Um, Painters don't normally water paint down. They normally water it down if they want a thinner coat and more of a see-through transparent coat. So that's when you'll see painters thinning down their paint. All right, so we blended these colors together. So it's going from like a blue to a purple. Okay, so I'm gonna wash off my brush. Next, I'm going to go into where his body is. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm taking the lighter purple. And I'm just going to start painting his body. Just like so. So again, if you guys are interested in painting this, you guys can always come back and do the replay. If you want the tracer, just type down gnome 
and I'll send you guys the free tracer down below in the comment section. Hi Karina, how are you doing? Happy Sunday. What are you guys doing this Sunday? My husband and I are about to go out shopping. So we also have a lot of work going on around the house. We decided this year we want to update our patio. Lots of fun stuff. And then I have his arms right here. So I'm gonna take that same purple pizzazz. And again, these purples are very thin. No matter how much you shake them, they're pretty thin in color. So I usually wait for them to dry. And then I'll go back and I will put a second coat onto that. All right, I'm going to go in with the white color now, which is called Snow. Snow White. And again, with that brush that I was just using, I washed off. I'm going to dry it off. I'm going to go in where his beard would be. So as you guys are hopping on, just say hi, what's going on? All right, I love to hear from you guys. Trying not to touch the purple to make it not mix in together. If you guys want to share this video on your page as well, all right? I always like to have people come on and watch along. Hold on one minute. Sorry about that. I'm just going in where his beard would be. Again, doing a second layer. So once we get the beard in, we we'll get the nose in. So the color I normally use is, you can use any color, skin color, tone you like. I'm using coral shell for his nose. Not even gonna put a lot, I'm just putting damp because that's all I basically need. Again, so I'm gonna go in with a round brush for his nose. I'm just painting his nose. And I think I should bring his hat down a little more. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to take a little bit of the purple and come down. Oops, his nose is a little wet. We'll go the other way. I'm just blending the purple and the blue here just to bring his hat down a little bit. And since his hat dried a little bit on top, I'm just going to go in on the top here area and add another layer. And you can see it's blending and you can see it's no longer transparent and it's getting more opaque. So again, as you guys are hopping on, say hi. If you guys want the free tracer, which is this, all right, just type the word gnome below in the comments and I will get you guys the free tracer. Also, if you didn't notice, um, I now have a texting service 
Um, so if you want to know when I go live, or if you want to know any special events that are happening here, you guys can text me as well. So while that's drawing, I'll get you guys the number of where you guys can text me. Okay. So you guys can text me the word join to 866-818-9002. So just text me the word join to 866-818-9002 and I will send you a message right before I go live or, or any other updates going on in my shop and so forth. All right, so next. While he's chilling and drawing, I think I'm gonna do another coat on his outfit. I'm just drawing the brush real fast. So we're just gonna go into his outfit with the purple and just put another coat in. So we've been doing a lot of work around the house with the backyard, especially. So now we're gonna go looking at stuff to add to the backyard, which is always fun, fixing up the house. Okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna go in with the bronze. Now, so I'm going back with that antique bronze, just making sure I shake it up because normally when you open it, it does look a little bit oily. Let me just fix my camera for you guys. So making sure it's nice and shaken up. Going in with a clean round brush and I'm gonna do his shoes. So his shoes are right around here. Go in a half of a circle and close it off. Um, again, bronze, metallic colors are always transparent. So you can do one or two coats depending on what you like. I might do a second coat once this dries. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna get the flowers in. All right, so the base of the flowers, let me just wash off my brushes. I'm gonna go on with doing the base first. So the base of the flowers, I use coral blush. And again, just shaking it up. I'm gonna use a brown brush. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's dry a little bit. Going with my coral. And with the coral, you're just going in a, you wanna like do a circular motion, like you're making flowers. So it's okay to overlap. Okay, so I'm just going in with the coral. So I'm just going in a circular motion to make the flowers. All right, so those are the flowers that are on him. And then I have one on the bottom corner here. And I say do a circular motion only because it helps keeps that flower wave that we like to see. And it's pretty organic and it doesn't look forced. All right. So we're gonna have to wait for that first layer to dry before we can add. Got a little bit of purple in that one. That's okay. Okay, so while we add the flowers, we're gonna go back. Now make some leaves. For the leaves, I'm using Fiesta Green. Going back with my round brush. 
and I'm just going to start adding leaves so you kind of like you know a leaf shape or a football shape very simple you could add the leaves where however you like or wherever you like If you feel like you need a second coat, you can add a second coat. Sometimes it looks nice when it mixes. Okay, so now I'm gonna to go to the bottom because sometimes I always forget about doing the bottom ones. To make sure I'm just adding that in. Off to the side. I just noticed I forgot a flower. That is okay. We'll go back and we'll fix it. I want to make sure I add in my leaves first. All right, so let me wash my brush before I do that one. Dry it off. All right, going back with the coral blush color and adding in this flower right there. Okay, so perfect. So see how I just did that in a circle. And then I can go back in and make my leaves on that guy. Okay, perfect. So he's going to be drying up a little bit. All right. So now we're going to go back to the first coral flowers because they should be a little bit dry already. I am going to take the darker purple. I'm going to take more of a skinnier brush this time. I'm going in with the darker purple. And I'll do it on this one first. I kind of want to just like do these C's and like go around. Like so. Those are gonna be two different flowers. So I'm just doing that with the darker purple. Just wanna make that a little darker. And it'll all come together in the end. I'll show you what I'm doing on the bottom so you guys can see. Okay. okay. So he's done. Okay, I'm going to go back in with this round brush one more time. And I just want to kind of fix up his beard a little bit. Make it a little whiter in certain areas. Okay, perfect. And we want to go in with the gold again. Again, happy Sunday, everybody. As you guys are coming on, say hello. Hopefully everybody's doing very well today. Okay, perfect. So 
the one thing I always suggest, don't keep your coffee cup next to your water cup, but I always do. And I almost dump my paintbrush into my coffee. Silly, silly. Um, let's see what else. I think I just need to add a little bit more color to the nose. Give that a second layer. And now I can do the finishing touches. All right. For the finishing touches. Oh, I totally forgot a flower. Look at that. Totally forgot to do a flower. Okay. So the finishing touches is like all the outlining and so forth. So I'm going to go in with white first. Still with my round brush. And I'm going to make these lines. So what you do, like what I like to do is I start off with barely any pressure and then you can push and it gets thicker. So it starts off thin. Again, starts off thin and you put pressure. Or the or vice versa. You put pressure first, barely any pressure, and then you're pushing pressure. Barely any pressure and then you're pushing pressure. All right, just go with the flow. So also with the white, I'm gonna go onto his arms and add some highlights to his arm area. I'm gonna add some highlights to the leaves. Basically, where you would see the stem stick out. Just like so. Okay. This is still wet, so I didn't want to touch that right away, but you can. Well, I normally like to add like a white highlight going along the side. So I'm not putting any pressure so it doesn't like really drag too much. Okay. Okay, so he's looking, he's looking good so far. All right, so we're gonna go in with black now. So it's called lamp. So I normally like to take a little thicker brush to start off with. So I'm going to take my one inch brush, make sure that's completely dried. I like to just get the sides and I like to just do tracing the bigger objects first. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with a a smaller liner brush. Again, make sure that's completely dry. Be careful with the black. You kind of don't want to pick up too much black. You know, trace around his shoes and his outfit. So how many people actually love gnomes? I think they're cute. I bought a couple of them for my garden for the summer. Uh, so let's go in and trace his nose first. Okay. 
Right, then I want to go in and trace his arms. Okay, so while we still have the very thin brush, we're going to go in with, to the flowers and the leaves. So what I'm going to do is very carefully, this, this guy still is a little wet. And you guys can take your time with this. You don't, you can stop and pause the video as you please when you are creating it. Um, I'm not expecting you guys to paint as fast as I am. Just trying to create a tutorial for you guys. So you can wait for things to dry. I'll show you the guy on the bottom. Okay, we're going around and finding the other flowers. And if your gnome looks a little different, that is fine. We don't judge. I would love to see what you guys paint as well. So if you guys do paint oh, this along with me, please share it. You guys can either message me on my Facebook page or drop it onto my Facebook page and share it. Love to see what you guys are doing. And got one more. And then we got a couple more last details, and then we're almost done. All right, so I'm just going to go in with the white one more time. Make this highlight on his nose. Then with the back of your brush, so I'm going to take one of the bigger brushes. I'm going to take the back and dip that into my white. And with that, I'm going to create dots. I know I like to do like three dots per flower. I like to do like a triangle effect. You know, our, our heads create these patterns. I like this triangle effect that this does. Um, you guys can also add dots in between the lines just like so and then i'm just going to get the black dot and make a black dot same way for the middle of each flower, I'm going to do a black dot. Just like so. And I think he is done, ladies and gentlemen. So that really wasn't that hard. Once this all dries, um, I normally like to add some glitter. So I bought Glitterific. So once he dries, I'll probably add this. Um, I added this basically to any part that was like purple. So the hat area and his clothes. Um, and you guys can take a thin up brush if you guys like. And you guys can sign your canvas. All right. So guys, congratulations for watching and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. So again, 
if you're watching and you are interested in painting this and you're watching this video and you want this free tracer you guys are more than welcome to write the word gnome down below in the comments and i will send you guys the free tracer free tracer um if you're part of my free group you guys should have the download all right so i uh, thank you for joining me if you guys have any questions or comments just leave them below and i'll be more than happy to answer them throughout the day guys thank you happy sunday and see you soon bye